Tonight, we're getting a look at the chaos that erupted in Brandon on Saturday night. The sheriff's office says a group of juveniles and adults got mad at a local skating rink and turned that anger into a full blown riot. The sheriff's office arrested almost 30 people, most of them juveniles. But tonight, the dad of one of those young people is talking to our Chad Mills. Wendy, he would like an explanation from the sheriff's office about how his son was detained. A chaotic scene outside of Brandon's skating rink. <laughs> this is video provided by the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office that deputies say shows what happened after Astro Skate canceled a late night skate party Saturday because the woman who booked the party violated the skating rink's policies. She posted on some social media platforms, uh, go, go to the skating rink tonight and act the fool. The owner of Astro Skate says the cancellation sparked a riot outside his business, which caused fights and damage at nearby businesses like this barber shop. According to the sheriff's office, six adults and 23 juveniles were arrested. I would say it was a riot. Jeff Gant says his 16 year old son was one of the young people arrested, but he says his son wasn't fighting or destroying property, just waiting for his ride near the skating rink and was trespassed. Use this as a learning experience. When you see things starting up, call one of us parents to come get you. Go to a safe place, a store, a gas station. He's speaking out because he has concerns about how his son was detained. I would like an explanation. The dad claims his 16 year old was held for maybe eight hours in the back of a squad car before he was processed at the Hillsborough County Juvenile Assessment Center. The sheriff's office confirms juveniles were held in cars because the sheer amount of arrests slowed down the booking process, but says AC inside the cars was on and juveniles could use the restroom and had their handcuffs moved from the back to the front. But Gant says his son's cuffs remained behind his back for hours. Come on, you got to make them comfortable. They're kids. Meanwhile, Astro Skate will have more security on hand this weekend. We apologize to our business partners around, you know, we're going to try to do better. And that's all I can tell you. But the owner has no plans to scale back his business. He says his business hosts so many young people successfully each and every day. And he doesn't want to punish all of those people for the actions of a few. I'm Chad Mills reporting.